hi and welcome to select 10. You may have heard a lot of myths about Netflix's secret library, but in reality, it is simply that we don't look around enough and only view the content that Netflix suggests to us on the top page. However, we have compiled a list of the top 10 finest Netflix shows that should be on your watch list and let us know if you discover anything new to watch from this list. Now let's start the video. Number 10. Subara, Blood on Rome. It is an Italian crime drama show based on the 2015 movie, Subara. The show is set in 2008 when a minor territory fight in a quiet beach town turns into a bloody conflict between criminal gangs and dishonest politicians. With the president retiring and his replacement up for grabs, three distinct gangs take the chance to profit from the resulting uncertainty. As the rival families prepare for the impending clashes, three criminals named Aureliano, Spadino, and Gabrielle join together to take on Samurai Francesco, Rome's leader of organized crime, and try to conquer the city for themselves. However, the new port not only attracts cartels and outcasts like them, but also cunning samurai politicians who would go to any length to make things go their way. What separates Subara from other crime shows is its spectacular setting, Rome, which has maintained all of its ancient status and majesty. Overall, Subara is a tremendously entertaining Italian drama with enough twists and turns to keep you coming back for more. The show has a 7.9 rating on IMDb and a 95% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 9. High Seas. It is a Spanish mystery series created by Ramon Campos. Following their dad's passing, sisters Eva and Carolina sailed on the steamship Barbara de Braganza from Spain to Brazil in the late 1940s. However, their pleasant journey takes a dramatic turn when one of the passengers is murdered and they become involved in the investigation into strange on-board deaths, a secret videotape, and buried Nazi treasure. As the episodes progress, more truths emerge, such as a false accusation, family secrets, cabin accidents, and familiar faces from the past. The most interesting part is that no one recognizes the murdered passenger and her name does not exist on the passenger list. Overall, High Seas flawlessly combines historical, romantic, and mysterious elements into a suspenseful drama that captures your attention right away. If you're in the mood for a good murder mystery, then this series is perfect for you to binge watch. And the series has a 6.8 rating on IMDb. Number 8. Manifest. It is a supernatural sci-fi drama series created by Jeff Rake. The series begins as Montego Air Flight 828 encounters a brief period of severe turbulence but manages to land safely and the crew and passengers are grateful for the plane's safe landing. However, during those brief hours of agony, the universe had aged five years and after grieving their loss, their friends, relatives, and co-workers had given up and moved on. Now confronted with the unthinkable that they've all been granted a second chance, the passengers rejoin civilization and begin to confront the reality that their lives and family members are not the same as they were, while also beginning to hear whispering voices and seeing sneak peeks of future events still to come. This is Netflix's dark horse, and it has a loyal fan base that helped make the show so popular that Netflix had to revive it for the final season. And the show has a 7.1 rating on IMDb and a 70% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 7. Love. It is a romantic comedy series created by Judd Apatow, Leslie Arfin, and Paul Rust. The show centers on Gus, who moves into a fancy apartment building full of college kids after his cheating girlfriend dumps him. But his life changes when he meets crazy Mickey, who is also newly single and hates her work in radio. Despite their differences, the two are attracted to one another, and who knows, their differences might be exactly what helps them discover out what love is. The series follows the couple as they test the boundaries of friendship and romance, with several completely insane and highly addictive standalone episodes. It may seem like a thousand other series, but the show has a burst of energy and excitement that sets it apart from the rest. The show has a 7.7 .7 rating on IMDb and an 87% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 6. Salvation. It is a sci-fi suspense drama created by Liz Kruger. The show revolves around the revelation of an asteroid that will strike the planet in six months, as well as the efforts to avert it and its global consequences. The major storyline revolves around MIT graduate student Liam Cole and tech entrepreneur Darius Tans, who work together to preserve humanity from this imminent catastrophe without ever letting the general public know. 
To help with the effort, Darius hires an ambitious science fiction author, Jillian, to work on a hypothetical strategy for rescuing mankind. While they attempt to save the Earth in their own manner, the government has its own strategy, with the Deputy Secretary of Defense leading the top secret operation to divert the asteroid. If you watch the film Don't Look Up and Liked It, you will enjoy this show, it is a real treat for fans of dystopian fiction. And the show has a 6.9 rating on IMDb and a 80% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 5. Tunnel. It is a South Korean crime thriller series created by Choi Jin Hee. The series begins in 1986 and centers on Park Wang Ho, a successful investigator who approaches his job with passion. But when he takes charge of a case involving multiple murders and travels through a tunnel while seeking the murderer, his life is forever changed. He goes through time to 2016, where he meets Kim Sian Jae, an unorthodox expert cop with strong investigative skills who will become his new partner. When the serial killer repeats his mode of operation of killings, committed 30 years earlier, the two detectives collaborate with a criminal psychiatrist, Professor Shin Jae Yi, to investigate the murder cases and catch the culprit. Overall, it is one of the greatest Korean web series on Netflix, and it is a must-see if you enjoy crime thrillers and science fiction. And the show has an 8.3 rating on IMDb. Number 4. Dead to Me. It is a comedy drama series created by Liz Feldman. The story of Dead to Me centers on the growing friendship between Jen and Judy. Jen, a real estate agent who was recently widowed, is attempting to cope with her loss through therapy, physical activity, and other means. But when she encounters Judy in a grief therapy group, where Jen is mourning her husband, who was killed by a hit-and-run maniac, while Judy pretends to be mourning for her boyfriend, who died of a heart attack. However, Judy is hiding a shocking secret that could destroy Jen's life. However, the story takes an unexpected turn as Jen starts to spiral out of control as she investigates Judy's secrets and the mystery surrounding her husband's death. Overall, this series is a brilliant mix of dramatic dark moments and hilarious one-liners that address the strangely humorous aspects of pain, loss, and redemption. And the show has a 8 rating on IMDb and a 89% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 3. Trapped. It is an Icelandic mystery drama series created by Baltasar Kormaker. The series follows officers of a police force as they attempt to solve a mystery in a strange environment. The main story takes place in a remote Icelandic village where a ship carrying 300 passengers comes from Denmark, but only their two ends there since a storm above and a deadly snowstorm prevent both the ship and the locals from leaving the isolated spot. However, when a chopped disfigured body washes up on the beach, the local police discover that a murder had only occurred hours ago. As a reaction, everyone stranded in the area becomes a suspect and violence breaks out as they search for the murderer. We can't ignore the fact that Norwegian shows on Netflix are top-tier shows that constantly amaze us. This show is no exception, it has a compelling story, stunning cinematography, and plenty of mystery to keep you entertained. The show has an 8 rating on IMDb and an 87% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 2. My Country, The New Age. It is a historical South Korean series directed by Kim Jin Won. The series is set during the transitional era between the end of the Goryeo dynasty and the establishment of the Joseon dynasty and follows the lives of two friends, Seo Hwai and Nam Sun. Nam Sian Ho is a bright and gifted young man who was born into the lowest social level and is frequently looked down on by others, whereas Seo Hwai is a warrior whose father is a well-known commander. Nam Sian Ho wishes to pass the military service exams, but due to a financial scandal involving his father, he loses his ambition, which soon makes things worse when he clashes with Seo Hwai over a misunderstanding, as they both attempt to defend their country and the people they care about in their own unique ways. Overall, it is an outstanding drama that will make you laugh, cry, and worry. It is a Netflix hidden gem that deserves to be on your watch list. And the show has an 8.2 rating on IMDb. Number 1. The Chestnut Man. It is a Danish police procedural drama directed by Casper Barfod and Mikkel Serup. The storyline centers on a psychopath who commits numerous murders and drops chestnuts, a homemade doll made of matchsticks, close to each crime site. When a teenage woman's body is discovered in a field, with one of her hands removed, Naya Thulin, an aspiring young investigator, is assigned to the case, along with her partner, Mark Hess, to solve it before any more killings occur. 
During their inquiry, they quickly come across a puzzling piece of information that links them to a girl who vanished a year earlier and was presumed dead. Now with all of the evidence at their disposal, both detectives attempt to solve the mystery of a serial killer who targets women. The plot is a slow-burning but extremely gripping and at times terrifying thriller that will keep you hooked throughout the episodes. The show has a 7.7 .7 rating on IMDb and an 80% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. That's it for today, thank you for watching this video. And do subscribe our channel to see more videos related to movies and series suggestions.